Well, the countdown is on to the new year, and for many, it's a time to make goals for 2024. According to one survey, more than a third of Americans make New Year's resolutions. In today's Medical Minute, Bradley Blackburn has more on how experts say you can keep them. Right below where the ball will drop in the home of New Year's Eve, plenty are already planning for what happens January 1st. I just want to, like, focus on myself and work out more. I hope to get back to lose a little weight. <laughs> A new survey from Forbes Health finds, no surprise, the top resolution for 2024 is improving physical fitness. Number two, improving finances. And number three is improving mental health. But psychologist Dr. Sabrina Romanoff says the way you phrase those goals can set you up for success. That's one of the reasons why resolutions fail. They're too idealistic and they're not so specific. So it has to be very specific. Specific and measurable so you can see your progress over time. For example, if your aim is to lose weight, break it down. Set a goal of one pound per week or find a different metric. That could mean eating vegetables four times a week. Let's say you want to do that for four weeks in a row, and then in one month you might say, I'm going to reevaluate and increase the challenge. The average length of time a resolution lasts is three months. Just 1% made it a full year, but the act of setting goals is a good one. Even if it's for like a couple weeks, you tried your best. Dr. Romanoff agrees success isn't black or white. You can almost imagine them as like a compass, and you're coming back to your compass. What's really important to you? An old routine to start the new year. Always worth trying. Because a promise to yourself can have power. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.